this one doesn't feel like a, an X3 at all. It is very brisk. So here there's a tad more body roll. It drives like a normal car still. You are greeted with this beautiful panoramic sunroof. Let's go ahead and hop in for a drive. Hey guys, here we have the BMW iX3 M Sport. Let's take a walk around of this very popular crossover, electric crossover. So this one being the iX3, it has blue accents right here. You have your eye badging there. Uh, as with every electric BMW, you have a blue accent around the iconic logo. This one is finished in Sophisto Gray. And being an M Sport, you have your M Sport specific wheels M badging right there and a functional side blade right there. This one doesn't have uh, a grill, but it does have um, a vent here for cooling the batteries. This is the rear of the X3. We can see it still has the iconic T-shaped taillights that is present in every X3. We don't have any exhaust fakery down there, but you do have blue accents uh, signifying that this is an electric vehicle. To open the trunk, there's a touchpad right there. Power operated as well. And this is a cargo net as with every European vehicle. You have storage cubbies underneath. You have more storage space for your charging cable and whatnot. You also have your first aid kit right there and a tire fix kit folding seats and a panoramic sunroof you also have your tonneau cover to keep your things away from prying eyes and just press that to close the boot now you do have some fake vents back there but it just adds to the aggressive styling because this is the m sport variant now let's hop inside and check out the rear seat Getting in is fairly easy because of the ride height of this iX3. Again, here you are greeted with this beautiful and large panoramic sunroof. You have a X trim right there. You have leather wrapped doors right here. Um, they don't skimp on materials even on the back seat. You have this nice trim right here and you also have blue accents going on in the interior you have a metallic speaker grill right here window switches all are automatic our convents on the center to keep the rear passengers cool and you have two usb c's for charging and a storage for your phone and whatnot now this is the center console you can see that it has two cup holders Overall, it is very comfortable back here. You have air vents for your foot as well. And yeah, this one is set for my driving position. I have tons of leg and foot room. I have about this much of headroom. There's a lot of space at the back. That being said, let's go ahead and hop in for a drive. You have M specific door seals right there nice solid door sounding and if we put this halfway which is the actual test we close it still solid so here it is when it's too hot you can actually close it and it provides a fair enough insulation from the sun Put the foot, okay, break and start. Okay, it has the same notification sound with the i4, and it also has manual adjusting for the steering wheel. This one is this the iDrive 7? Okay, but it still has some of the same interface design. So you have your home uh, screen right here, you have your navigation, radio, and your telephone. You have your car settings right there as well, vehicle status. It is not as you know flashy as iDrive 8, but it still gets the job done. 
Does this have Apple CarPlay and Android yes. Auto? It still does. Wireless. It still has sport a sport display. Displays. Okay. So it has the meters. Oh, GeForce meters. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's still an uh, uh, informative yes. of the car. Now, this is the active uh, the safety features, yes. Yeah? yes? So, if you press this, what happens? So, it ah. shows you what it has. So, it has the okay. lane departure, so front collision, collision warning, lane departure. Parang, I think this becomes green, no? Or it yes. does it? Oh, it does. It's okay, when it's activated. Yes. Okay, so Even, yeah, yeah steering inter intervention. Meron oh, show. so you can parang. Correct. <laughs> uh, Avoid you from the accident. Yes. Okay. So you have your uh, toggle switch right there. Your parking sensor control. Okay. There you go. Uh, your various modes right here and your electronic parking brake with auto hold. So let's go ahead and go for it. Oh, let's check if it has a. Okay, it has the rear camera. And again, the side mirrors dip down when you put it in the reverse. But it can guide you if you're uh, approaching near a curb. And very interesting is that the trunk release is right here. <laughs> so you better be careful not to uh, turn that switch. You have large cubbies on the door as well. Now this one still has the switch for the lights. It doesn't have the buttons like the one in the i4. And here you can, you still have your digital gauge which you can change your content and whatnot so you can have your map and whatnot let's drive Comfort mode. This one has the same uh, power output with the uh, i4. HP and the 400. You also have your a slider right here to cover the cup holders. You have your wireless charging, two cup holders, and the center console is a fairly decent size. It was also illuminated with a USB-C charging right there. Auto dimming rear view mirror and side mirror as well. Overall, the visibility is, is good. You have large windows throughout the vehicle. very brisk despite the size of this vehicle and actually this one being the M Sport it has a chunkier steering wheel has a three-spoke design which is known for BMW because it is a sporty brand so this one is your whole controls for your climate no yes. so yeah you also have a separate screen which is nice yes. you don't have to fiddle around with the infotainment as mm -hmm. much you have your fan speed in the middle your various modes on the, the middle fits. then your temperature control on the side you have your auto and your defrosters. You also have heated seats if that's a thing that you like. So again, this is this has the same um, power output as with the i4, just in a different package. And we will see in a bit how it handles and performs. 
despite being higher to the ground. This one only has one variant, or it has the regular one IX3. Variant. Oh, just the IX3 yes. M Sport. That's right. Switch to sport mode. It is not as punchy as the i4, but then again, this is a bigger vehicle. It still, it still accelerates very fast. <laughs> we have a straightaway. This one doesn't feel like a, an X3 at all. It, So here there's a tad more body roll because again of the ride height of the X3 as to be expected actually. It has auto hold, let's turn that on. And now the car is braked by itself even though I am in drive. You also have here on your door your two seat uh, memory for the powered seats. Me ano ba to? Mood lights or no? Yes. Is just that Oh, it, it does. Okay. Yes. Oh, so it's not just not just blue. Yes. Oh, okay. That's so cool. And Asha, it's bright enough that you can see it in uh, daylight. Mm. It's a bit subtle. Okay, yeah, which is good. <laughs> The ride comfort of this one as compared to the i4, this one feels much more quiet. It soaks up the bumps pretty well, like since this is a higher car, you don't feel it as much. Now let's put it into Eco Pro for that maximum efficiency. And once you're in Eco Pro, the throttle will be much more linear.
this one you can still set the brake region you know yes. right now we are in the lowest setting because yes. it drives like a normal car still yes. <laughs> and throttle input and in eco pro is slightly delayed because you know you're trying to save your battery juice right here unlike with sport the top priority is driving dynamics coupled road but it doesn't feel like a coupled road at all and yeah, the NVH is very impressive with this iX3 um, in traffic it feels comfortable it's quiet you don't get you know like the diesel uh, noise that you usually get with diesels there's not much of that here because it is electric when you want power it delivers it instantly I think what's also nice about BMWs is that they hit the driving position so spot on that you feel like you're in the vehicle and like with some vehicles now you're on top of the vehicle so because most EVs the batteries are underneath with this one you don't feel that at all because they designed it and packaged it so well that it still feels like a proper BMW. The map is fairly responsive. So if you're not going to use your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, this is fairly helpful as well. Parking the iX3 is such a breeze because the steering is light and the sensors are really helpful. Let's turn off auto hold. There you go. Park. To turn it off, just press this blue start stop and the electronic parking brake automatically engages. You also have a closing chime. Okay guys, that was a drive of the BMW iX3. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be notified once I upload a new video. This has been TJ, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.